His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Qutaybiya Palace today the President of the Republic of Tunis, El Beji Qaid Al Sipsi, in presence of His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. An official reception ceremony was held for President Al Sipsi upon his arrival to the palace. شرف جاز التبتيش سيد His Majesty the King and the Tunisian President then inspected the guards of honor.
The Tunisian president then greeted Bahrain's ministers while His Majesty the King greeted the members of the official delegation accompanying the Tunisian leader. Then His Majesty the King delivered the following speech. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Khamat al-Akh al-Rais al-Bazi Qad al-Sabsi, Rais al-Jumhuriya al-Tunisiya, Ashab al-Sumu wal-Ma'ali wal-Sa'ad al-Hudur al-Kiram. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yatibu lana bidayatan an nurahab bikum ajmal tarheeb في مملكة البحرين وأن نعرب لكم عن تقديرنا الكبير لزيارتكم المباركة التي تأتي لتجسد عمق العلاقات التاريخية الوثيقة التي تربط بين بلدينا الشقيقين وحرصنا الأكيد 
على أن تحظى علاقاتنا وروابطنا الأخوية التي تجمعنا بكم بالمزيد من التقارب والنماء وبما يسهم في تقوية أواصر التعاون والتواصل والتكامل بين دول وطننا العربي كما نود التأكيد على ما يمثل توقيت زيارتكم للبحرين من أهمية بالغة بالنظر إلى ما تواجه أمتنا العربية من مخاطر وتحديات تتطلب تكثيف أوجه التشاور المشترك ورفع أقصى درجات التنسيق والتعاون المستمر لمحاربة وصد التهديدات التي تستهدف استغرار المنطقة والتي تستوجب أيضا حسن وسرعة التعامل مع المتغيرات الدولية واحتواء تداعياتها ووضع الحلول المناسبة لحفظ أمننا الإقليمي وسيادة بلداننا وصون منجزاتنا الوطنية وتحقيق آمال وطموحات شعوبنا فخامة الرئيس يطيب لنا بهذه المناسبة أن نكرر ترحيبنا بكم في بلدكم الثاني البحرين وأن تقترن زيارتكم بإنجاز المزيد من اتفاقيات التعاون الثنائي بمجالاتها الرحبة والسعي إلى تفعيل نتائجها بما يعود بالنفع والخير على بلدينا الشقيقين من خلال اللجنة المشتركة البحرينية التونسية والتي تعتبر من أقدم اللجان التي تم إنشاؤها بين البحرين والدول الشقيقة وتعبيرا لما تكنه البحرين وشعبها من مشاعر اعتزاز واحترام وامتنان لتونس وشعبها الشقيق يسعدنا أن نمنح فخامتكم وسام الشيخ عيسى بن سلمان آل خليفة من الدرجة الممتازة مقدرين لكم جهودكم ومساعيكم للانتقال بعلاقاتنا الأخوية إلى مستويات جديدة ومتقدمة من التعاون والتقارب التي تتوجها اليوم زيارتكم الموفق بإذن الله فأهلا بكم وعلى الرحب والسعة والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أولا أنا مدين لكم بالدعوة الكريمة التي وجهتموها إلي فاستجبت إليها على العجل لما أكنه لشخصكم وللبحرين و طالما ذكرتم الشيخ عيسى رحمه الله انا اريد ان اترحم عنه وانا ادعو الله سبحانه وتعالى ان ادخله في جناني وتونس والبحرين كنا دائما معا وحتى من حسن الطالع لما كنا في القمم العربيه مقعد تونس كان ملاصق لمقعد البحرين وهذا إشارة للتقارب لكن التقارب أعمق في مواقف وكذلك أيضا في الوضع اللي نحن فيه احنا نكبر في البحرين الوسطية والتفتح ونحن كتونس أيضا دائما نسعى لنكون أمة وسط كما قاله سبحانه وتعالى وهل أصدق من الله قيلا بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وكذلك جعلناكم أمة وسطا لتكونوا شهداء على الناس ويكون الرسول عليكم شهيدا صدق الله العظيم لذا يعني زيارتي للبحرين طبيعية وأنا أعتذر أن لم تكن هذه الزيارة قبل ذلك لكن يعني خير الأمور الوسط نعم إن شاء الله يعني هذه الزيارة تتبعها زيارة من جلالة ملك دولة البحرين إلى تونس وطالما تفضلتم وأنا شاكر لكم بمنح الوسام الأكبر للشيخ عيسى نعم 
أسمح لي أن أقدم لكم الوسام الأكبر للجمهورية التونسية الذي أسسه المغفور له الرئيس الحبيب بورقيبة الذي كان يعني معجبا هو أيضا بالبحرين لأن دول أحنا صغيرة ولكن العبرة ليست في الصغر كما قال الشاعر يعني تعيرنا أن قليل عديدنا فقلت لها إن الكرام قليل ما ذر أن قليل وجارنا عزيز وجار الأكثرين ذليل لذا أنا أقول لجلالة الملك أن البحرين دولة قوية بأصالتها وبملكها وبرجالاتها وفي هذا الخضم الدولي الذي يتغير بسرعة والمتغيرات كثيرة لكن كثيرا منا لم يعي ضرورة الأخذ بعين الاعتبار هذه التغيرات لأن مهما كانت قوتنا نحن قوة صغيرة في عالم المتغير لابد أن نعي ذلك وتكون سياستنا سياسة واقعية تأخذ بعين الاعتبار الواقع وهكذا نحفظ لشعوبنا الكرامة ونحفظ لبلداننا الأمن والاستقرار وأنا شخصيا لثقة وثقة يعني وأعني ما أقول لما أقول ثقة في البحرين في ملكها وفي رجالاتها وأن البحرين ستبقى دائما سائرة في طريق التقدم والرقي وهذا يعني نحن نباركه وتونس التي تمر الآن بفترة صعبة لأسباب سهلة لأنها أقرب نقطة إفريقية بالنسبة لأوروبا والوضع الجغر السياسي في أوروبا يفرض علينا كثير من التحديات نحاول بتوفيق من الله أن نتغلب عليها ولكن أيضا بصداقاتنا مع الدول الشقيقة والصديقة وإن شاء الله يكون هذا يعني نمشي فيه في خطوة وما ذاك على الله بعزيز وشكرا على ما تفضلتم به Then His Majesty the King presented the Tunisian President with the Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa Order of Premium Class in appreciation for his role in supporting joint cooperation between the two countries. President Al Sabsi then granted His Majesty the King with the Tunisian Order of Independence of the First Class in appreciation for His Majesty the King's role and tremendous efforts in reinforcing bilateral relations and cooperation in all fields. And in presence of His Majesty the King and the Tunisian President, a number of agreements of cooperation and memoranda of understanding were signed between the two countries, which included a memorandum of understanding in the field of protecting environment and sustainable development signed by His Majesty the King's personal representative and President of the Supreme Council for Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Tunisian Foreign Minister Khmeis Al Jainawi. An agreement of cooperation in the security field was also signed between the two countries by Minister of Interior Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and the Tunisian Foreign Minister Khmeis Al Jainawi. An agreement between the two countries' governments to cooperation in the defense field, which was signed by Minister of Defense Affairs Lieutenant General Yusuf Al Jalahma and Tunisian Foreign Minister Khmeis Al Jainawi. The two countries also signed an air transportation agreement, which was signed by Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication Kamal bin Ahmed and the Tunisian Foreign Minister Khmeis Al Jainawi. Bahrain and Tunisia also signed an agreement of cooperation in the health field, signed by the Minister of Health Faiqa Al Sa. and the Tunisian Foreign Minister Khmeis Al Jainawi.
After that, His Majesty the King and the Tunisian President held the meeting in presence of His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The meeting reviewed the deep-rooted brotherly relations between the two countries and people, in addition to ways of expanding fields of joint cooperation. His Majesty the King commended relations between Bahrain and Tunis and stressed that the kingdom is a country of tolerance and peaceful coexistence amongst all religions, which turned it into a historic center for civilizations and religions in the region. He confirmed the people of Bahrain's respect for different religions, saying that Bahrain has always been keen to develop its education and health fields. For his part, the Tunisian president expressed pleasure in visiting Bahrain, highlighting his country's keenness to support the fields of education and eliminating literacy through setting various plans and programs. The two leaders also discussed regional and Arab developments in addition to issues of common concern. His Majesty the King then held a lunch banquet in honor of the Tunisian president and his accompanying delegation. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa held a meeting with the Tunisian President Al Baji Qaid Al Sebsi. The two sides reviewed the historic brotherly relations between the two countries and means of bolstering them in the various fields. The two sides affirmed on supporting Arab cooperation and enhancing Arab national security amid the political and economic situation the Arab countries are facing. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Premier welcomed the visit by the Tunisian President to Bahrain, wishing the Tunisian leadership, the government, and people for the prosperity. The two sides also lauded Bahraini-Tunisian relations path being witnessed in the various sectors, affirming the keen desire of both countries to further develop relations in the various fields, including the economic sector. His Royal Highness the Premier lauded the stances of the Republic of Tunis towards Arab issues and the causes which contribute in achieving security and stability in the region. His Royal Highness the Premier affirmed the support of the Kingdom of Bahrain for Tunisia in maintaining its security and stability, highlighting the political and security challenges face require further joint cooperation in order to meet their development aspirations. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister tackled with the Tunisian President a number of topics, including bilateral cooperation and development in regional and international arenas. For his part, the Tunisian President voiced appreciation to the Kingdom of Bahrain, represented by its King, government and people for the hospitality he and his accompanying delegation received. He affirmed the country's care for development cooperation with Bahrain in order to serve the interests of the two countries. He lauded the development witnessed by Bahrain as the various sector due to its wise leadership and people's determination. He also lauded the care and concern received by the Tunisian community in Bahrain, which he said reflects the deep relations between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister held a dinner banquet in honor of the Tunisian president and his accompanying delegation. The banquet was attended by senior kingdom officials.
Earlier in the day, Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa welcomed the President of Tunis Al Baji Sipsi upon his arrival to the Kingdom on an official visit to Bahrain. The mission of honor was established, led by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. President of the Republic of Tunis al Baji Qaid al Sebsi met a number of the Tunisian community in Bahrain. The President affirmed the deep rooted bilateral relations between Tunis and Bahrain, voicing pleasure in visiting Bahrain, meeting with His Majesty the King, and discussing with His Majesty means of bolstering cooperation between the two countries, as well as the latest developments on regional and Arab arenas. The Tunisian President appreciated the human values held by Bahrain, including being open to various cultures and coexisting of different societies, which he said reflects the fine image of Bahrain as one of the Arab countries that worked on respecting human rights and empowering women. He added that Bahrain is a kingdom that one should be proud of. The Tunisian president also voiced satisfaction to the facilities provided by Bahrain to the Tunisian community. He advised the community to project the positive image of Tunis. He concluded by saying that the upcoming phase will witness enhancements in bilateral relations and cooperation between Tunis and Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued edicts number one, two, and three for this year. The first edict allows the 100% of foreign capital owned companies to carry out value added, the activity of re exportation and logistic services. The second edict allows the 100% foreign capital owned firms to carry out packaging and delivery to final destinations beyond shipping quay, while the third edict allows the 49% foreign capital owned firms to carry out the activities of air, land and maritime and shipping agents. Under the patronage of the President of the Supreme Council for Health, Attorney General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the third version of the annual cardiac review opened today, bringing together experts from the Mayo Clinic and medics from Bahrain and the region. More details in this report with Mohammed Shaban. Regional and global medical professionals convened in Bahrain this morning to kickstart the activities of the third cardiovascular review. This annual gathering is organized by the Mohammed bin Khalifa Cardiac Center in collaboration with a U.S. Mayo Clinic and is due to run for three days. It's very important that we are proud of it because I think that was the first uh, conference that had been arranged uh, outside the United States actually in, uh, by uh, Mayo Clinic. It was uh, three, three years back in Bahrain and uh, now it is the third conference actually arranged here in Bahrain and uh, it has become, you know, an you know, uh, event actually, annual event in, our, uh, in, in Bahrain. More than 350 experts are taking part in the event, including global lecturers and Bahraini and international physicians. The course is designed to provide focused and up-to-date recommendations on disease management. It also provides board-based reviews of the knowledge required for all cardiologists and cardiology trainees to enhance care for patients with heart disease. But I think what is really important this year is, is that we will have not just the educational part, but we will have the, 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 the clinical uh, aspect. We will have Dr. Peter Brady from the Mayo Clinic, who is a, a world-renowned electrophysiologist who deals with the electrical problems with the heart, and he'll be performing four complex surgeries with colleagues from Mohammed Mukhalifa Cardiac Center 
tomorrow and the day after. And I think this is a, a great way to share experiences, to both learn uh, from experts in the field, and ultimately we will help to treat patients in Bahrain and give them better care. The event also includes an accompanying exhibition showcasing the latest technologies and medications in cardiac care. The exhibition provides interaction and business opportunities for different pharmaceutical and medical technology companies. So the purpose of, of, of this conference, which we have been holding now for three years in a row, is to bring our knowledge to this region, especially to Bahrain. We have had like two, more than 200 participants every year for the past three years, mostly from Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, and the rest of the region, even some coming from Europe and Africa. The Mayo Clinic Annual Cardio Review works as a platform for an interchange of the latest knowledge and global expertise in the field of cardiac care, with the aim of providing the best therapeutic modalities to the patients. Another international meeting that brings together world-renowned medical professionals and attests to the Kingdom's commitment to excellence in the field of health. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain Television News. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, directed the Bahrain Olympic Committee to distribute bonuses to the Bahrain team for winning against the Japanese team 29 to 23 and qualifying to the finals at the 17th Asian Handball Cup Championship, lauding the significant level of the players.